called a protractor. If you look closely at the protractor, you will see that it has two scales on it. An inner scale and an outer scale. Both marked from 0 to 180. The standard unit for measuring angles is degree. So, we can say that the protractor has markings from 0 degrees to 180 degrees. This small circle is the symbol for degree. The outer scale can be used when we are measuring an angle from the left to the right. And the inner scale can be used when we measure an angle from the right to the left. The protractor also has a center point and a baseline. Okay, now let's see how we can use the protractor to measure an angle. Here we have angle PQR. Remember that the size of an angle is a measure of how wide its arms are open. The arms of this angle are QP and QR. So, we shall use the protractor to measure the width between these two arms. First, we place the protractor over angle PQR such that the center point of the protractor is exactly on the vertex Q. And the baseline of the protractor lies exactly on the arm QR. Now let's check if we should use the inner scale or the outer scale. Read the scale which has 0 degrees on the arm QR. In this case, it is the inner scale. So here we need to use the inner scale. Now, looking at the inner scale, we need to note the mark where the other arm QP cuts the scale. We see here that QP cuts the inner scale at 60. So, the measure of angle PQR is 60 degrees. We write it like this. The letter M means measure of the angle. See? It is very simple to use the protractor to measure angles. Okay.